Hi, I'm Jen Rossman. I teach mechanical engineering. And this class, VAST 217, the art and science of flow visualization, which means pictures of fluid flow. And I use those all the time in my research to explain, you know, why fluid swirling around um, in your artery in a certain way might mean that you're going to have atherosclerosis in that spot, or why the wake behind a wiffle ball tells you whether it's going to zig or zag when you throw it a certain way. The idea behind the VAST program are bringing two what we consider two very different fields together. And in this case, it's science and art. This is sort of a, an, an outreach that, that we did, a mutual outreach, where first an engineer, me, uh, reached out to Karina, an artist, and we decided to then reach out together to students and, and try to hook them into thinking and, and looking at the world the way both of us do, which, which is, has some differences, but also some commonalities. Well, this photograph was taken in class. We were experimenting with buoyancy. So um, this was a stick of incense. We started to burn it. Yeah, I guess. And we just watched the smoke kind of move. Um, and it's a buoyancy photograph because the hot air of the smoke yeah, rises, in the uh, rises in the cooler air surrounding it. So um, we use a short depth of field and a fast shutter speed to mm -hmm. kind of capture that really sharp edge and then that kind of faded smoke in the background. And we kind of photoshopped it to sharpen up the image. And bring out the color of the smoke. What happened for the students is that we met every week in a, a lab room in the basement of the engineering building, a place many of them had never ventured before. Um, and they were surrounded by equipment that by the end of the semester they were comfortable using and interpreting and, and understanding how this equipment and the equations on these chalkboards were a way of looking at the world and figuring out what was true and real in the world. I took this class because it had um, a photography aspect to it and I really enjoyed taking pictures. Um, I didn't know much about the fluid mechanics aspect of it, but um, I, that was something I was definitely w willing to learn about. Um, I was really excited um, about this class because it really involved a lot of um, art knowledge and fluid mechanics, and it really broadened my horizon on both fields. So This class is a completely interdisciplinary class, and I think it's part of what's unique about Lafayette College. The goal is really to, that all of us understand each other a little better and appreciate the way that each of us view the world and attack problems, um, and just to have another way of communicating with each other. Um, it was very. It was pre presented in a very understandable manner by uh, Professor Osborne, yeah, and I think like, that they, you know, I think they enjoyed learning about the uh, engineering side as much as I enjoyed learning about the art side. Just kind of moving out of their comfort zone. It's pretty clear that engineering students benefit from the liberal arts environment of Lafayette. Certainly, I saw this semester how tremendous Karina is, both as an artist and a teacher. Um, but what we tried to do in this class, and what I came to Lafayette hoping to do is to create something that helps non-engineering students benefit from the presence of engineering here. Uh, I hope students in this class learned a bit about engineering methods from the language we use to the way images help us demonstrate principles and um, learned about engineering values too. Whether those students might become lawyers or doctors or policy makers, they'll be better off knowing something about engineering and technology and appreciating the way we see the world and try to solve problems.